you guys welcome back to my channel so I'm really 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 excited to uh, do my August favorites it's been a while since I've done one of these favorites videos and um, I have a lot here to share with you guys and show you some of it you probably have already seen in you know some of my videos some of it you're gonna already well you're going to see in some of my videos um, and some of it is just kind of stuff that I'm using behind the scenes or loving in my personal life. So I don't know why I'm trying to flash you, but not everything in these favorites situation, this favorite situation is, um, technically beauty. So I think it would be fun to first start off with what I'm wearing on my lips because I might get some questions because they look like juicy little plums. I don't know how I feel about this, but we'll get into that and then I'll start with the non-beauty items. I'm wearing, um... Let me see here. I am wearing this lip liner by NYX, and it is in the color Prune. But yeah, it's like a pretty pruney color. It's like pretty much the crap that's on my lips now. But love this. For the kind of glossy part of my lips, I am wearing the NYX Butter Gloss in Raspberry Sauce. Yeah, so got that, and um, those aren't any of my favorites or anything, but uh, yeah, just really liking this color combination. And then I'm wearing some stuff from the Lorac palette. But anywho, moving on. So we're going to start with the non-beauty items. I guess I could start with what I'm wearing. Um, as you guys probably have been noticing, I've been wearing this um, bangle in a lot of my videos. And I got it from Forever 21, and I hated it when I first got it. Um, well, I liked it when I saw it, but then I didn't really like the style because it's kind of different. Um, but I really, really, really love it. It's just kind of so big and chunky and bold and tacky that it goes with everything that I wear and I hope I can actually find something that's real gold so it doesn't tarnish so quickly. Okay so let me go ahead and show you guys some sunnies I picked up from eBay. They were like eight dollars and they probably would have been cheaper if I would have got them from China but because I am super duper impatient got them from the USA. So these are some cat eye sunnies. Oh jeez, and they look like like that on, pretty much in a nutshell. They look like little cat eye sunnies. I don't know, I like that they're black and that they are gradient from dark to light. And uh, I don't know, I just think they're really, really, really cute. They look better when I have makeup on. I've been Instagramming those bees and I've been like totally just obsessing over them. I love them. And again, eight dollars, like how could you go wrong? If you guys don't know, I am a freaking junk food fanatic. Hence why my teeth are so damn screwed up. Um, as a kid, I ate junk food out the yaya. Yeah. So, definitely paying the price for that. But I still love me some dark chocolate. Mm -hmm, you know what I'm saying? Pomegranate uh, seed covered... No. Chocolate covered pomegranate seeds. Yeah, and they're basically by the brand Brookside. And I always pick these up whenever I go to the grocery store because I'm trying to cut back on candy, trying to be a little more health conscious. And, you know, when I get that that itch, <laughs> not that itch, but the other itch for something sweet, I always reach for those. So they are very delicious. Oh, oh my goodness, that was wet. This scary contraption here that sounds like a torturing device. It is. It is a Reming Remington Epulator. If you guys aren't familiar with what an Epulator is, and please ignore Jennifer being so rude and looking at the viewfinder, this lip color is throwing me off. These things are basically a whole bunch of tweezers in one, and they pull the hairs out of your, um, wherever you are putting this on. So it just basically is a tweezer contraption, and instead of waxing, I use this on my legs, and basically, in a nutshell, um, over time, because it does rip the hair from the root, you grow less and less hair or just thinner hair. So I've been using it on my legs and I've had this for a month and a half and I've gotten probably just a little over the kneecap. And if you wanna know a little bit more about epilating, cause trust me, I hate pain, just holla at me and I'll let you know how that goes, okay? Um, a couple more things that are non-beauty. Um, hang on, woo, okay. So a couple more things that are non-beauty are these tank tops. If you've watched all my videos since I've started, you've probably seen each one of these and in a haul video. So basically there are tank tops that look like these. I don't know why, but they kind of remind me of like bodybuilder tank tops or something like that. But what I love about them is that they are so easy to throw on and style and all that jazz. Like they are so fun. And uh, they're the ones that have like the really deep um, kind of sleeves. So they end up showing you brassiere or they end up showing, um, you know, a bandeau if you're a little more classy. So the last non-beauty item I have to share with you guys, I actually did a reveal video. So hopefully Jennifer is smart and puts that 
first before this. But anyways, it's just my Louis Vuitton um, Never Full MM and the Damia Abian Prints. Been loving this bag, been wearing it ever since I got it, and honestly, this has definitely been my go-to summer bag and my ultimate August favorite. So as you can tell, I'm wearing these earrings. They look like this. They have like a small little bead and a bigger bead. Um, this is probably a better better way to show you guys. But they look like this. They are like replica Dior earrings, um, and basically they kind of, if you can see, um, they go together like that. It's kind of cool. So you have like the big bead behind and then the little bead on top, or you can flip it around and do big bead on top and a little bit on bottom. That just sounds gross. But I got these actually from eBay for super, super duper cheap. And I've been loving these earrings. I've been wanting them for a while, but I think the Dior ones are like $500. And all it is is a bead anyway. And that's it. I got some foundations that I've been loving um, for quite a while, actually, probably a year. These are definitely my holy grail foundations. They are the uh, CoverGirl um, Out Outlast the Fabulous 3-in-1 foundation with... Um, Gosh, I can't remember. Foundation, sunscreen, and primer, or something like that. Foundation, concealer, and primer, right? Yeah. So I have them in a few different shades. We got nude beige, classic tan, and then we've got classic ivory. So I pretty much am set for, you know, all year long. And I love these. They are long lasting, they're amazing, and seriously, I recommend them so much. Like, ugh, compared to high end. Yep, these are definitely my right hand man, I would say. So, on the topic of more drugstore makeup, um, these guys here are basically the L'Oreal True Match Concealers, and they are retractable. They're kind of like little crayons. And what I like to do is just kind of draw on wherever I'm going to do my highlight. I even use these for contouring sometimes. Um, and they're really easy to blend out. They do set quickly, but they are just perfect for highlighting and contouring in a snap. Something I get asked about, uh, asked about, asked about a lot is my eyebrows, which I'm trying to get a tutorial for you guys. It's a little sticky situation. It's really hard to film, but trust me, it is coming. Um, and this is kind of what I use. I use the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade, and I use chocolate. Looks like this. It's just a pomade. It's kind of like a gelish texture and then on top of it I always use the perfect arch um, tinted brow gel and I got these uh, got this from Sally Hansen and I think it's the Femme Couture brand so obviously these two are my bays and I've been using them for quite a while now so I don't want to make this forever long so we're gonna just kind of fly on through here um got a couple of palettes that I've been also just basically holding Zia to my little heart. We've got the Anastasia Contour Kit, which I didn't really like, but since the month of August, I've been loving, actually. So this is kind of what that looks like. It's a really high, popular item, and I didn't understand it. I didn't like it at first, but ever since I kind of learned how to contour a little bit better, because it's been a while, um, I've been really, really, really loving that. I've already done a makeup look using this palette, and actually it's what I am wearing on the meal host today. And it is the Lorac Pro 2 palette. It just looks like this inside. I love it for dramatic looks, natural looks, um, and all the kind of looks in between. It is seriously one of the best palettes I've ever used. And y'all know how much I love Urban Decay, hence my name. Um, but this actually tops any Urban Decay palette I've ever used. Just the, the texture and everything else. I love, 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 love Lorac, especially this palette. If it feels like we're kind of rushing through this video, that is because we are. I don't want to tie you up for too long, but um, my favorite kind of wispies or lashes, I don't even know why I call them wispies, has to be the Ardell Glamour Lashes. I'm actually wearing the Ardell Double Up Lashes today, if you can kind of tell, I mean, obviously, I totally did more lashes in my last video, or one of my last videos, and I look so weird to myself, like, I love lashes, but they're just the natural, um, wispies, and basically they are a longer, more dramatic wispy, and they look perfect with any type of look, they have the clear band, so you can wear it kind of, like, you know, with very minimal makeup, or whatever you want to do, um, I didn't wear them today, because these ones are a little crusty, and they no longer stick to my eyes, but I just definitely had to give those a shout out because they are the bomb. Maybelline has definitely been on my hit list this month. My favorite mascara by Maybelline has to be the Mega Plush Volume. I 
actually really love this stuff and prefer it over my Benefit, um, bad, no, Benefit They're Real. I don't know what it is, but it's buildable, um, it gives me volume, it gives me density. I just really, really love it. And also the brush is pretty, pretty snazzy. It kind of has like this little wiggling mechanism. Although I don't really like it for my lower lashes, I love it, love it, love it for those days where I don't want to wear falsies. And um, to kind of add a little more depth to my eyes, I've been using the Master Drama um, eyeliner and it's called Midnight Master and it's by Maybelline Eye Studio. And basically it's just a retractable black liner that I love to use on my, like, I would say my tight line, would that be upper, upper lash line and lower lash line. Um, I noticed that doesn't smudge that much, stays put. And it's very, very intense black, and it's super, super duper creamy and velvety. Okay, so I just have a few more things to share with you, and they're more on the high-end spectrum. So I've been loving, actually, two things by Makeup Forever. So I got this little um, mascara. Um, probably can't see it from this far away, but it is the, I think it's called Smoky Extravagant Mascara. I don't know, but it came with the little Sephora birthday kit. And, uh, wow. Like, I freaking don't know what it is about this mascara. Uh, the bronze, the bronze, the brush isn't that spectacular or anything quite like that, but it's just something about the formulation of this stuff that really makes the eyelashes black and smoky and just so extravagant. Like, saw Jen, that's the name, pretty much. Yeah, definitely love this stuff. My holy grail, my new holy grail product has to be the Makeup Forever HD um, High Definition Pressed Powder. So it looks like that, and you cannot tell, but I've actually hit pan right in there. I've been loving this crap so much. I have two more products to share with you. Another holy grail has to be my Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. This stuff is like hairspray for your face. It makes you kind of retain your, 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 I don't know what I'm trying to go with that, but it just makes your makeup look the same as when you put it on. It repels all kinds of stuff. Like literally, I can sweat buckets and my makeup looks flawless. Um, it doesn't really create a dewy finish or anything like that. And the only thing I can say is when this stuff gets on my eyelids, it kind of gets a little sticky. But other than that, this stuff actually helps make my makeup last for over 12 hours. Like no joke. Like seriously, this stuff is definitely the real deal. And I definitely need to... Um, and I totally need to get some more because I'm kind of running out. Okay, so I think this is the last thing I have to share with you guys um, before I go here. And again, sorry this is so rushed, but like literally I have so much to show you. It is the NARS, and this is actually limited edition. Um, I was lucky enough to find it in my Sephora. Um, and it is the Oasis Blush and Laguna Bronzer, Laguna Bronzing Powder. I think I called this the Orgasm and Oasis once, but no, it's definitely not. It's the Laguna, which is like one of the most popular freaking bronzers there are from NARS, and then Oasis, which I think is a limited edition blush, but basically it's a plummy kind of colored blush and a very true brown bronzer that I absolutely, absolutely, absolutely love to use on the daily, but I'm not using it today, Dad. but I am using... I don't know if you can see it, Oasis blush a little bit today. So I think that's all I have to share with you guys. Um, I'm pretty sure I got everything in here. Um, I hope you all enjoyed. Please let me know in the comments down below what are some of your favorites, any items you want to recommend to me. And of course, if you see anything here that you want me to talk about a little more in depth or you have any questions about, because I know I was kind of very vague on some of the items, Please let me know in the comments down below where the sun does not shine. And uh, yeah, I'll definitely talk to you guys later. Thank you so much for freaking watching. Don't forget to go ahead and comment, rate, and subscribe. And I will catch you all on the flip side.